Okay, y'all, today we're going to talk about the letter from the Birmingham jail and what diplomacy is. Okay? The objectives for today's lesson is to summarize the intent of MLK's letter, define and gain a better understanding of di diplomacy. Do y'all know what that means? Analyze text from the letter, construct a written response using the evidence from the letter. And we're going to go over this as our term for today, okay? We are going to turn and talk. That's just where you turn and talk with your partner. Um, collaborate a little bit on what the discussion is. We're going to share and discuss with the class. We're going to do clickers. Remember we did clickers before. Um, where you hold up your cards and we scan it with the cell phone and it'll give us the data on your answers. We're going to work with the paragraph frame. You okay, Brandon? Hard. Okay. And then we're going to conclude the lesson with the ticket out the door. Okay, what was MLK's intention of writing the Diplomacy. Do y'all want to look it up in the dictionary there under your chair? I'll give y'all a minute. I'll give you one hint here. You'll realize it's everywhere around us. Agreements. Diplomacy involves agreements. Relationships. Did y'all come up with anything? How about what, what, whenever you see the word relationships, what does that tell you? Who has relationships? Who do you have relationships with? A girl. Uh, relationships with people, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what diplomacy, <clears throat> it's saying these are agreements, relationships with people. Um, here's a few more. Having tact, which means just knowing how to talk to people. Being able to have dialogue with somebody else. And Martin Luther King, he had this effect. Okay? Yes, Cody? Being nice. Being nice. Very good. Very good. That's what a lot of writing and annotating, that's what all this is, is when you become an adult, you're going to need to know how to verbally communicate as well as communicate in written form. Okay? Let's see what this last one is. Skills in dealing with people. So that takes skill. Not everybody can do this. You'll notice, okay? Why was there a need? Why was there a need for these during this time? Because everybody was against. Right. Um, um, everybody was in an uproar. There were riots. There was th there was um people that were very unhappy about MLK, Martin Luther King coming up and giving this I have a dream speech. People were killed during that time, um, arrests, beatings, um, all because of the color of their skin, but he stood up. He stood up for everybody. So there was a need. What, what are some examples of a need during that, that time? Nope. Nope. 
again, equality, relationships, relationships. How about opportunities to give everybody the same opportunities, regardless of what the color of their skin is? Okay. So that's just a few examples there. Okay, now we are going to turn and talk about has there been any times in your life when di diplomacy helped or would have helped make a situation better? Okay, like has there been a situation that if there was somebody to stand in for you and be the peacekeeper, so to speak? Okay, so y'all turn and talk, and we will continue with clickers. Okay? Okay, during the talk and share, did y'all come up with some examples that um, would illustrate diplomacy in your life, in your everyday life? Yes. And what is that? When I had some bad grades and I told her. Told the mom? Yes. Okay. Told my grandmother. Okay. And the teacher said something. That it was just progress? Yes. It wasn't the real report card. It's not going to go on his final transcript. So the teacher stepped in and spoke for you and said, he can bring this up. He's not stuck here. Right. That's a perfect example. Did anybody else think of any? No examples? Okay, we reviewed di diplomacy, and we we are re recapping what we went over yesterday. Most of y'all were out on field trips and all, so we stopped and we decided to complete this today. Um, we know that MLK was a diplomacy character, personality for the Civil Rights Movement. He was the one that he would work out agreements. He was good having relationships with people, and he knew how to speak on the African community in behalf. So we're going to do clickers, which we're going to ask some questions here, and you're going to hold up your cards, and we're going to go through, and we're going to scan each one of your cards as you answer this question. Y'all ready? Yep. Fighting with others is an act of diplomacy. True or false? Okay. Make sure you hold while Miss Benefield is scanning. And as it gets you, you can see your names get checked off right here. Okay, one more, Brandon. <coughs> Bless you. Okay, everybody has been. So, two of y'all said false, and the rest said true. I said true. I said true. Maybe, did you hold your card? I went like that. I had to like this. Okay. Well, let's try another one. But this is good. Let's see. Give me just a minute. Do it from your scanner? Okay. A wrong. Wrong. Oh, A was wrong because diplomacy we just discussed is um, your the way you deal with people, making agreements, relationships. Um, We're going to go on to the next question. Next question. Martin Luther King Jr. wanted di diplomacy with Birmingham, Alabama. A true, B false. Hold up your cards. Other way, Dylan. Make sure you hold them up so we can scan them. Did you already do this? I told him I've got a mind. 
That's why. Okay. If you if you look on the corners of your paper, that's how you can tell. Oh. And you hold it. There you go, Tyler. All right. Okay. Let's see the answers. Oh. Everybody got it right. Awesome. It's true. So just for fun, we'll see what the graph looks like. Okay. I'm just curious. Okay. Next question. Diplomacy is the skill of dealing with people. A is true, B is false. Hold up your cards while we scan. Okay. We don't know show the answers. Yay! Everybody got it. Great <laughs> job, y'all. <laughs> Is, isn't it fun for everybody to get right? Okay. Next question. Okay. Wait, did you see? Well, we need a fifth. The removal of humiliating yeah, racial yeah. signs is an act of diplomacy. A true, B false. Hold up your signs. John and Brandon. Make sure your hand's not covering the um, scan symbol. There we go. Okay, let's see. Wait, I didn't have these before I got it right. I had one. Exactly. That's okay. I think sometimes <laughs> just those little scanners yeah, get. I showed, I showed yeah. these. Get them. Um, a lot of confused. But this is a new little trick that um, we just learned during some professional development. Do y'all like yeah, using like these? Much. Yeah. I think it's kind of cool. It's different than taking a, a sit-down test where you're having to read all the questions and think about it and hope you get it right. Here we're getting to um, yeah, talk pretty, about pretty it and, and go over it as we go along. <laughs> okay, we're yeah, going to move on to the next thing. Okay, um, we have passed out the quotes. And you're going to um, read the text you have been given. You're going to write on the bottom half what the text means to you. You're going to wait quietly on me to come check your work. And then you're going to present your text and analysis to the class. We're going to work on this. And I'm going to give you all about 15 minutes to work on um, extracting the evidence from the text. And we will revisit. Okay, now that we have concluded the work time, I'd like to go around the room and let y'all read the quote and present to the class and tell us what you think that quote means in your own words. And Amy, we'll start with you. Mine says, Black kind of people worship you. Mine says, King was meaning like people say they like Christian, mm -hmm. but they heard. Americans and other people with disability and, and like basically almost killing them in homes and people are like hurting them but they say they believe in God. Right. So you, you feel like that that's unfair. How can you call yourself Christians and still hurt another human being? Good. Cody? And the just law is a code that is out of harmony, harmony with moral law. This law is not fair because, for, for example, the black can't come into a, a food place without. Right. So you're saying that if everybody can't come to the same place because of the color of their skin, how is that fair to everybody? Right? Great. Awesome. Uh, Certain pro 
promises were made by the merchants in exchange for taking away the stores to the Gilead and make them sell. And what does that mean to you? What is that quote saying to you? Did they remove the signs? No. So what is that? They didn't keep them. Right. Very good. That's great. John, what did your quote say? Oh, y'all did? Okay. Um, Tyler? Well, mine says, if I have said anything in this letter that overstates the truth and indicates and unreasonable and impatience impatience I beg you to forgive me I think what he's saying is if he's offended anybody he wants them 